Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm repainting my character Soul from my webcomic Chaos Granny. Um, this is the first time I've ever done an actual voiceover and I'm not sure if I'll do any more because it feels a bit weird hearing my own voice but I realised I just had so much to say and I couldn't be bothered to edit text over the entire video. Um, I thought I'd just talk a bit about my process of drawing because I always enjoy listening to other artists explain their thinking and if you find it useful and enjoy it, I'd love it if you could leave a like, comment or subscribe. So usually when I start off a painting, I like to do a really rough sketch, more like stick figures really, um, and then it helps me decide where I want to place my characters and if I like the basic composition, which is a skill I'm trying to improve on because I don't think my composition is that good at the moment, um, especially with more complicated pieces. If I like the initial sketch, then I tend to draw over it again with a proper sketch to flesh out the character and any details or tweaks that I want to make. And if that still looks a bit messy, then I'll do a final neat line art. Um, I don't really bother making the line art really proper and nice because my way of drawing is just to put things down and then merge all the layers on top and keep painting over it so by the end you can't even see the line art. Um, so I've got my final line art and I was just filling out the silhouette of my character so I can lock the layer and then paint in the base colours. I also like to start by painting a background colour because it helps me decide what colours I want my lighting and shadows to be, so in this case it's blue. Um, I've realised I don't really have a consistent way of painting or putting colours in, I kind of like to experiment with different techniques and then go with what, what works best. So in my last video I tried painting from grayscale to colour and I thought that was really useful for helping me understand values better. And um, But yeah, here I just started straight in colour. So I put my base colours in and then I put another layer with what I want to be the shadows on top. Um, sometimes I use a multiply layer but here I kind of liked the shadow colour as a normal layer so I just did it like that and then I erased where I want the light to hit the character um, and after that I've gone and put in deeper like warmer shadows where his jaw is and, and other places like that for kind of like occlusive shadows. Um, I've also put in bounce light into the shadow areas because obviously the sky is blue and it colour will bounce and go back onto his skin and I think that adds some variety and makes things more interesting. Um, I know that there's a technique where they say like if you have warm light use cool shadows and I've done that here um, but I also quite like to vary up shadow colour and add some warm shadows in as well because again I think variety makes it more interesting. So for people who don't really know what my webcomic is about, it's called Chaos Granny and it's on the webtoon canvas and it's essentially about an old lady who is the chosen one and she has been missing for decades and Sol is the one who finally finds her. Um, I've been a bit slow uploading chapters because I'm so busy with work and other things but I'm nearly done with the latest chapter so hopefully I can get that out soon. I wish I could be faster at uploading but it's just me working on everything and I work full time, I recently qualified as a doctor and it's very tough and also whilst the art style in the comic isn't fully rendered like I'm doing this piece, it is still, it's a bit more complicated and I've been making it more complicated for myself and I've been modelling in 3D for the backgrounds and characters and just giving myself loads of extra work so that's why it takes so long um, but it is very fun and I enjoy doing it even though it takes a long time. So here I'm just adding more details, adding more variety in the colour, um, refining highlights, um, just kind of cleaning things up, blurring things, merging things down and then going back and painting over the top of that which is essentially just what I do. I draw, merge, draw some stuff on top, hide the layer, decide if I like the changes I made, if I like them I'll merge and then carry on and if I don't then I'll just delete it and try something else. I'm also just doing some adjustment with the proportions of Sol's face because I didn't like how they looked initially. So here I'm just working on Sol's sword. Um, I basically made reference art for his sword and other things ages ago um, and I basically just copied the picture in and just painted over the top of that because I can't be bothered to redraw the entire sword. Um, I'm also adding folds to his clothes, adding more details, 
um, trying to sort out the eyes, varying up the shadows and lights to make it more interesting. I've added some really saturated orange and pink colours for like surf subsurface scattering. You can kind of see it where his chin is and also on the borderline between where the light becomes shadow. Um, yeah, just because I wanted to vary things up. I've also got up a smaller window um, of the main piece, so I've kind of got a really small version in the viewfinder and the main version that's more zoomed in and um, a medium-ish version as I'm trying to go in and do the eyes in more details. I really struggled doing his eyes in this painting. It, I kept making new layers and painting over the top, trying to see if I liked how it looked and then in the end I kind of just went with one of the first versions I did because I hated all the new versions. Um, basically I was just trying to make it read well as a zoomed in image and also from far away so I just felt that when I was drawing these versions of his eyes he kept looking a bit too derpy or sleepy and that wasn't really the vibe that I was going for so I eventually ended up just painting over where his eyes were and trying to just restart the whole thing and then I hated that too so yeah I just ended up going back to what I did initially and kind of merging them all. Yeah I just went back to doing what I'd done initially, merging them all and kind of fudging it a little bit. Uh, well it kind of came out okay. I, I was happy with the final result. It's not, it's not really very refined. I I can tell you, I'm a bit lazy and I don't like making really polished artwork. I can do it if I spend lots of time doing it, but I don't really like spending more than a couple of hours on a piece because I just get bored. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that it that it turned out the way it did. It was a bit of a struggle because his eyes are caramel coloured, but I quite liked how they looked, how they read when they were dark in the viewfinder. So I was struggling to find a balance between making it obvious that he has light eyes um, but not having him look a bit like a ghost. So it came out okay. Um, and now I'm just kind of adding some final changes, um, filters, increasing contrast, things like that. Um, and yeah, I've got some versions of the, uh, the old versions I did in 2020 and 2021 and it's always nice to um, look back on old art and see how much you've improved. Um, and yeah, I was quite happy how it ended up turning out. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment or subscribe. And I'd love it if you checked out my webcomic on Webtoon. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I'll do any more voiceovers, but thanks for watching. <laughs>